good everyone i hope you guys have an amazing day so what i'll do today i will talk about uh the einstein trust layer at least the uh, introduction to it um now you might have noticed something right when you were going through the playlist uh, for the certification you might have seen some of the content from uh, ai associate uh course right um that's because you know a lot of things uh, are similar uh, when you look at AI associate as well as the AI uh, specialist. So I have done this course pretty recently, right? So nothing much have changed after I've completed those ones. So I moved a couple of them to the uh, this playlist. That's why you might have, you might have seen AI um, associates, uh, right? Say introduction to artificial intelligence, introduction to neural networks. Uh, what is prompt engineering? Um, so the reason why I've added these things because if you are taking, say, AI specialist as the first one, then I would highly encourage you to have a, some understanding about um, a Gen AI um, prompt builder. Uh, what's, what's prompt engineering is all about? A difference between Gen AI versus product, uh, predictive AI. Um, about the data model a bit. Right, and then I've also done a series on Einstein Copilot, so where I've done hands-on with your Einstein Copilot actions uh, using Apex, um, using uh, Prompt Builder. So I will include those as well. But that being said, I'm going to cover more and more stuff so that you know you will have a thorough understanding before you go and take the the cert. Right. Um, so what is why are we talking about Einstein trust layer? So as you know, right, security is a very important, right, when you're dealing with the customer data. Now, when you talk about a language model, you're obviously training your uh, model using a customer data. Now, the security of the data is very important. You shouldn't be training your model with the data which you have no authorization to train on, right? And that's why... Uh, it's very important that the, the security and the trust principles are set in place. Um, sales rewards on their end, they take the security as I mean, as per their claim, uh, security very seriously. So they build something called Einstein Trust Layer, right? Now, Einstein Trust Layer, according to them, it kind of enhances the security of the generative AI through the data and other privacy controls that they have in place. Um, so that you can, you as a customer, uh, can use leverage the Gen AI capability uh, without worrying about uh, the data privacy or security concern, right? Um, now there are a lot of uh, controls that's in place as a part of um, Einstein Trust Layer, as you can see in the diagram. Um, perhaps you know, extend a bit. Um, I think that's clear. Okay, now you can see that um, you got different components here. Obviously, you know, you retrieve the data, um, you know, from the Salesforce app, right? Uh, from the Salesforce. And obviously that's a, that's a secure data retrieval process. Then it goes to grounding. I explain, I'm gonna explain you each one, right? In the next episode, but just wanted to showcase, right? When, when somebody talks about, um, what an Einstein trust layer is all about, it, it's a group of, um, it's a toolbox, I would say, right? Uh, which contains features that protects your data. That's all it is, right? It's a toolbox of features which protects your data, um, right? So secure data retrieval, uh, then the data goes to the dynamic grounding, then you have data masking, which is pretty obvious. Uh, then you have prompt defense, then obviously, the most important um, functionality, you have uh, zero retention so that you don't have to worry about, you know, someone retaining the data. Then you look, then it goes through the toxic language detection to ensure the accuracy of the data. Then you have the data masking, then audit trail to keep track of what's happening, right? So this is a pretty basic component if you look from a trust layer aspect, but you might get asked here and there question, right? You maybe is the data grounding a part of a trust layer or is the data masking part of a trust layer and importance and kind of things. I mean, 
the way I ask people to think about this certification, not just from from a point of going and taking a cert, right, and say, hey, I got another cert. That shouldn't be your intent. I mean, obviously, you wanted to clear the cert, which is great. I mean, I'm not going to uh, say anything against that. But the, the, what I wanted to say, right, take this as an opportunity to learn some of the important concepts because Gen AI are going to be more popular over the course of time is already – is at this stage, but it's going to get more and more, right, uh, popularity. So when people start using more Gen AI, the trust becomes very important. And since we all are Salesforce people, right, so you, I have to specifically talk from a Salesforce perspective. So the trust layer becomes even more important. So it's very important you understand what each block's meant to do, right? So which I'm going to do in the next episode. Uh, I'm going to teach you guys from a prompt response, prompt as well as a response uh, perspective. Um, so, and this trust layer also ensure that you can uh, use the LLM within the Salesforce, or you can bring your uh, your own LLM, right? So this is kind of covered. So this sits at the top, and it will ensure that any kind of LLM or uh, data um, training you do uh, will uh, will be taken care by this layer to ensure your data is protected. The security is maintained and there is a zero retention, right? Because obviously you don't want, you know, the data to be retained, right? And that's a kind of a security risk. Why would you want your user uh, data to be retained? So that's uh, in nutshell, I uh, wanted to talk from an Einstein trust layer. Um, it's a very important topic though, right? Um, and LLM, obviously everyone knows, large language model. Now I will ad- I will encourage you as well as my advice, right? Please don't jump to the Einstein trust layer straight away, right? When you start this course, obviously, you know, if you're watching this, you would have covered some of the previous uh, things I've asked to cover, asked you to learn. That is introduction to artificial intelligence, uh, some knowledge about the data and models, uh, introduction to neural networks, which is very important. Um, uh, something about generative AI, what's a prompt engineering is about, and what's an Einstein, out-of-box functionality of an Einstein. Um, so yeah, then you jump into the Einstein trust layer, right? So what I'll do in the next episode, I'll talk about in detail, and we'll talk about an example, right? So it's become more clear, right? So that being said, hope you guys have an amazing Friday. Adios.